Richmond, you know, um, Jimmy Buss and I were talking about an hour and a half ago and kind of reminiscing a little bit about the summer. And uh, the one thing we focused on, you know, that maybe, you know, and I may be overstepping my bounds a little bit, but the one thing that the organization is not afraid to do is to take a risk, um, take a gamble. And, you know, certainly uh, being in Los Angeles, you know, we're afforded the ability to take more gambles than a lot of other cities. Um, you know, we have a great city to sell and um, a great reputation, a great heritage. And, and that's, that's a plus, you know, but I think we're, we're fortunate to have ownership that's not afraid to roll the dice. Based Mitch, on your Mitch going, going forward, I'm going, going forward from this point on, having Dwight, <coughs> you guys' payroll is going to be pretty high up there. Any concerns about that as you guys go forward? Was that anything but the thought yeah, process? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, sure, it's a concern. And um, you know, if you're familiar with the collective bargaining agreement, you know, there have been some significant changes right. you know, made you know, for teams that, exert, that, that exceed certain thresholds. Um, but, but once again, you know, over the last year, you know, there's been some criticism. And when we traded Lamar, that it was just a way to, you know, save money. I think this proves that, you know, when it comes down to it, and I've always said it, um, you know, certainly nobody, you know, who, who does it, who owns a, a family-owned business doesn't want to make a profit so their, you know, their, their business can survive and prosper. But when it comes down to it, Dr. Buss is a competitive a very competitive owner, and his family is also very competitive. And when it comes down to making a decision about a couple of dollars, or a million dollars, or ten million dollars, or putting another banner up, you know, he, he can't help himself. He chooses to go for the banner. Mitch, based on your conversations with Dwight and Dan Fagan, how much of a risk do you think you are at that this could possibly only be a one uh, You know, deal? something we've had, we've had no discussions. Uh, the press conference started at four o'clock. Uh, they came into my office about quarter to four. And, um, you know, I had a little private chat with Dwight that maybe lasted four or five minutes, and um, that was it. So no uh, point, even during the, the trade negotiations, there was, there nope. was nothing to gauge his interest in staying No, um, in, in fact, you know, our, our decision was really independent of anything you may have read, you know, about what maybe his desires were or weren't. You know, our feeling was his... No matter what anybody says, let's just get him to Los Angeles and we'll take our chances. Is the Mitch thought process with that sort of winning sort of takes care of things like that? Excuse me? It's the thought process a little bit with, you know, winning It's a, helps it's a little bit of everything I talked about. Yeah. You know, it's the, it's the organization, ownership, the city of Los Angeles, uh, you know, our ability to win games, you know, surrounding Dwight with players that will make it easier for him, you know, to, uh, to play the game, not have to burden you know, a load that's maybe not fair. All right, what, what, did you, what did you know about Dwight before he got here and what do you know about him now? Just in that four minute time you met yeah, with I'm him I'm not even sure we met prior to today. <laughs> okay. Um, you know, we may have crossed paths at one time and said hello, uh, which is not unusual. You know, when you're at an all-star game, it's not really conductive to walk past somebody and have a 10 minute conversation. There's just too much going on. Um, so, so really, you know, the only information you get is information you gather from people who know him. Okay. You know, stuff you read, stuff, interviews. And, and based on all that, play. based on all that, after now sitting down with him for the last half hour or so, mm -hmm. what, what, what's, what's your take on him now? I mean, obviously, uh, I, I don't think time. he's he's any different than what I expected. Okay. To be honest with you, um, you know, going into something like this, you don't know what to expect. Uh, but I think, you know, up in my office, he was very warm and uh, seemed sincere um, and excited about being here. And I thought he did a good job in the press conference, you know, disarming you know, the media. And, you know, let's face it, you know, there's some pretty hostile questions that had to be asked. Right. And I know it's the job, too, and he knows it. And, you know, I think he handled it well.